you know, not only can we ask fans to come out and support wrestling, we're proving that wrestling can support the community. Right. You know, we're kind of flipping that idea on its head a little bit, and we're saying, you know, there is... It doesn't have to be self-serving all the time. You know, it's not us trying to make a buck and keep a buck. It's trying to, for, you know, put a great show on. You look at it, you look at it, any of these shows, like you look at um, Comedy Central just did that night at Too Many Stars. Okay. And it's all these people who are coming out to entertain you for selfless reasons. And that's pretty much what we're doing here. I mean, uh, top to bottom, I love my card. I would go see my show. <laughs> if I wasn't involved with my show, I would go see my show. And that has nothing to do with me. You know, it has to do with the guys who comprise the show. Right. You know, and and I can't tell you how amped up I am. I mean, I get up and I, I work on this thing every day and I bust my ass and I'm not, like, special for that. You know, it doesn't make me outstanding. The show's outstanding. So I feel like, you know, I'm I'm have to. I'm bound to work hard so that as many people know about this show as possible, as many people come see this show, and that we, at the end of the day, cut a big old check to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and say thank you for what you do. Now, uh, a couple questions I have uh, before we get into the card itself and, and who's Let's going do to do it. Um, are, what other ways, other than purchasing a ticket and um, like what other ways can people contribute uh, to this uh, to cystic fibrosis at your event? Uh, will you have uh, like envelopes that people can stuff money in and it'll get mailed to them? Uh, will you guys have merchandise to sell? Like, wh how else besides the ticket purchase can we can they help? Okay, well, there's there's plenty of ways. If you want to help the event itself. Um, basically, here's I'm pulling back the veil a little bit on how this works. Um, we have our initial startup cost to run this show. The you know the event cost, the the venue cost, insurance, travel, what have you. Mm -hmm. If the more of that cost that we offset up front by getting donors, sponsors, etc., the more of the money from the event we can donate to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So right. if you want to go to GoFundMe.com slash NJ Charity Wrestling. That's GoFundMe.com slash NJ Charity Wrestling. Whether you want to donate $5 or $500 or a dollar, um, every dollar that comes in before the show will offset the cost of the show, and we are able to donate more to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, the CF Foundation from New Jersey, their representatives will be at the show. So they'll know exactly how much money is coming in, and we'll basically just hand it to them when the show's over. You know, there's no, just in case there's anybody out there who's a little, thinks it's a little dubious or is used to maybe, you know, shady dealings happening with these charity events, not, not here. Not here. They're at the show with us. We are, we have the support of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. They will be at the show. Um, and they'll be monitoring with us as much, how much money is coming in, and we'll be very transparent about how much money the show raised and how much we were able to donate. Um, also, at the show, we have a couple of, I guess you would call them auction giveaways, where you know you buy the ticket, you put them in a thing, and you enter to win something. Um, right. The New York Red Bulls and the Somerset Patriots, the minor league baseball team, mm -hmm. New York Red Bulls, of course, really good MLS soccer team, made the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Um, both donated four tickets each to any home game of your choice to the event, so you can enter for a chance to win those. We'll have a 50-50, uh, and we'll have plenty of ways to give. If you want to just make a donation at the event, there will be a table run by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. You can make, an, uh, you can make a donation directly to representatives of the foundation at the event. Okay, very nice. Now, um, yeah. what about... Um... CTW merchandise. Will you will that be available to, for purchase? Um, um, I you know I don't know. We're we're honestly looking at that right now. Um, like I said, it's got to, it has to be cost effective. It has to be something right. where I know that where I know that you know we won't print up a bunch of t-shirts or a bunch of this or a bunch of that, and then they'll sit there and it'll end up taking a, a cut out of what we could give the foundation. Right. If it's if if I get if if I feel like there's enough interest there, 
then we'll do a minor run of CTW merch, and of course, all proceeds once we break even there will go to the foundation. So that's something that we're still thinking about. It just is a matter of whether it's going to be cost effective. I don't want to do anything that accidentally takes a dollar away from the charity itself, okay. from what we could give. Now, this is you said this is um, this is inside the Days Inn of Bridgewater. It is. It is at the Days Inn Bridgewater, which is at 1260 Route 22 East in Bridgewater, New Jersey. Uh, it's a great venue. It's the ballroom itself that you would have for uh, corporate events or wedding receptions or receptions or large formal dinners. They're clearing all those tables out. Uh, it's going to seat about 300, 320 people. Uh, it's a fantastic venue. And, and the people down there, uh, the general manager, Michael, uh, and everybody at the Days in Bridgewater have been very, uh, very amenable and very willing to help. Uh, for those of you who are over 21, the bar will be open and available. Go enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah. And the, uh, uh, you know, plenty of parking. It's not going to be the kind of thing where you have to park down the street and walk a mile. Uh, you park right in the parking lot, come right in and enjoy the show. Uh, as far as uh, food, is that something being supplied by the venue or is it going to be from the outside? Uh, we will either have an outside food vendor come in or I will make sure out of the budget that we offer some food to patrons. Sure. So food will be available at the show. All right, well, it's because, you know, besides me being a big guy, you know, it's, it's very, it's important. You got to absorb that, that bar, fluids. Big guy, small guy, small girl, big girl, really doesn't matter. If you're sitting somewhere for two and a half, three hours, yeah. you're going to want to nosh on something, you know? Absolutely. You're going to want to pop something. Uh, so absolutely. I completely understand that. <laughs> I mean, you know, like <laughs> yesterday, we were, we were, you know, we were at the big event from uh, 10 to 2, and. Sure. And we were like literally like right across from the restaurant, and I was just like, like I was like I was I, I just wish like I, I could use the force and like have French fries float over to the table, but <laughs> as much as I was trying, oh, it, it it wasn't working. So, <laughs> uh, I hear you. somebody sees a cheesesteak floating in through the door. Like, what the hell's going yeah, on? Yeah, might, might be a little freaky, Enough? but uh, you know. But... <laughs> But uh, trust but, me. Totally but then again, understand. Rhino probably would have walked by and ate it anyway. So, ah <laughs> uh, man, I'll tell you that's a, that's that's kids, kids. That's what we call in the business. That's what we call a segue. That was well done. <laughs> that's a segue. Just speaking of Rhino in there. That's speaking well of done. Rhino, uh, bravo! You got a you got anything queued up with like canned applause? That was well done. I'm impressed with you right now. I try. I try. I try. <laughs> Trial and error. It took me uh, two years to get it right. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, speaking of Rhino, who, who, uh, who's, who's on your card? Look at that. It's like it dropped in from the heavens. What a segue. So who's on the card? <laughs> All right. Well, if we're, uh, we're going to talk main event, we might as well get right into it. Um, main event is huge. Uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, for the first time, I've looked this up for the first time in, I believe, 12 years. Uh, Rhino and Just Incredible, two former ECW heavyweight champions, two former WWE stars, will be teaming together. That has not happened since, I believe, it's been at least a decade since Just Incredible and Rhino have been on the same team. Uh, they're going to be facing Mike Quest and Eric Corvus, two great, uh, yes. two great talents from this area. You would know them from... Beyond Wrestling, from UWA Elite, from JCW recently, yeah. uh, better known as the Garden State Gods. Uh, they're just coming off a big win at King of Arts in the Feeding Frenzy. Uh, these two teams will match up in an ECW Rules Tag Team main event, and uh, that's the main event of the show. I'm thrilled with it. I am super happy. I got to tell you, just kind of pulling the wool back, you know, everybody wants to think of Rhino and, and Credible as real badasses, and they are, yeah. trust me, you don't fight these guys, but uh, in dealing with them, honestly, just the nicest, most charitable guys you'd ever want to know, Rhino, really, and it's, Rhino a, it's, is it's a, a, it's a nice pleasure, guy. Yeah, he really is, <laughs> just a pleasure to have these guys on the show. And uh, we'll see what goes on, but I mean, I, I give Corvus and Quest way more of a puncher's chance than than most would, or way more than just a puncher's chance in the match. They're tough guys. They'll fight anybody. They have fought anybody. I, you know, I'm, if you look back I'm at, at their Corvus careers. Fan. I'm a Corvus fan. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely. Think he's, he's I mean, you go back innovative. to Jay, 
yeah, you go back to Jersey All Pro, and it was you know question Corvus Fear at the time. I mean, they they you, you name the guy, they've wrestled them. Yeah. So there's no fear there. So they'll get in and they'll and they'll they'll put it to credible and Rhino. What happens, we'll see. But that's an ECW Rules Tag Team Main Event. Um, if you're looking at co-mains or secondary mains, if you will, um, I'm thrilled with this uh, this Fatal Four Way that we put together. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to talk about past, present, and future of New Jersey independent wrestling, uh, you got the bad boy Joey Janela. You've got the guy I like to call the living legend Arcadia. You've got first class Brian Brass, who's a longtime veteran of the New Jersey indie scene. And you've got a really good up and coming rising star in uh, the aviator Joey Adams, who you would know from recently from UWA Elite, yeah. SJW, a couple other places. Um, these four guys uh, just are outstanding, really outstanding. And, I mean, you obviously have seen Janela everywhere over yeah, the last year. Absolutely. Uh, if you have any history in the Jersey circuit, you absolutely know Brian Brass. You absolutely know Arcadia, who is one of just the most athletically gifted guys you're ever going to want to see in the ring. And he, um, just, and he just came back. Absolutely just yeah. came back. Uh, just inducted into the UWA Elite Hall of Fame. He's been, you know, making his way around the circuit lately. He looks as good as ever. Uh, Joey Adams, if you haven't seen him work before, uh, you really should. Technically very proficient. Got one of the prettiest 450s in the business. Uh, so I said, you know what, let's put kind of, let's put some new guys and some veterans and some fresh faces and some, you know, uh, just put them in the ring and see what happens. And I think this is a... This is one of those that you look at and you say, this one might be the one that everybody talks about when they leave the venue, when they leave the days in. This may be the match that everybody talks about. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't, honestly, we don't have an opponent yet uh, because it's hard to get somebody, he's, he's hard to deal with, he's hard to prepare for, but Dick Justice will be, <laughs> Dick Justice will be at CTW, Fight Cystic Fibrosis. Um, if you are from Jersey, if you are from Pensy, if you are from Delaware, and you have not seen the Super Cop Dick Justice, uh, do yourself a favor. Uh, search for the match from, with, from Beyond Wrestling with him and Colt Cabana on the same team, and uh, they have a uh, little Mexican standoff with four guns. Uh, you, need to, you need to look up Dick Justice. You need to see his work, uh, and you need to come out and see him. He's hilarious, and he can go. Okay. Yeah, you know, he's one of these guys that you look at and you're like, all right, he's funny, but what can he do? And he can work. The guy can work. Um, and again, nicest guy you'd want to talk to. Um, I heard you talking a lot about uh, Rude Boy's big win last night yeah. at Warriors. Rude, Rude Boy, Rude Boy Riley, who um, a couple years ago weighed about uh, 112 pounds soaking wet. Um, yeah, has turned himself into quite a hell of a superstar in the wrestling scene, and a guy who I said if Dolph Ziggler and CM Punk ever had an offspring, it would be Rude Boy Riley. <laughs> I gotta tell you, um, Rude Boy is so damn impressive and so nice. I love his story. I love, and I love Scumbag Nation. I mean, you, you've seen them work together, Rude yeah. Boy Riley and Logan Black. Um, they are, I mean, Staten Island's finest as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that that those guys are going places whether it be separate or together, and just seeing Scumbag Nation work is a, is a pleasure and a privilege for an indie fan like myself. Because I'm a fan first. You know, I'm a, I'm a promoter, I'm a commentator, I'm all these things second. I'm a fan first. And mm-hmm. because I'm a fan first, uh, I've been taking a lot of notice of uh, the Rogues out of New Jersey. I'm, I'm sure you've seen a bit of the Rogues. Uh, I, uh, I just saw them, um, well, I know them individually, Sure, uh, Kirk and Jeff Brandon, Brandon, Brandon Kirk, Kirk Jeff Cannonball. And, yep, Jeff yeah. uh, Cannonball. But I did see them work together uh, last uh, two weeks ago at the Superstars of Wrestling. They were involved in a uh, tag team tor- a turmoil tournament. Um, yep. I-, I know Jeff Cannonball for about two years now in the indie scene from you know him just coming out and, and uh, actually him and Rhino I seen in a, uh, a Doors match. Sure. I see. Yeah, Cannonball <laughs> is is one of these guys that like. I'll put it this way: if you if you are involved in hardcore and or ultra violent matches, uh, the kind of the uh, mm-hmm. I'll say it: the barometer right now, I think, is Matt Tremont. 
And he's, I mean, it, and it, he's going to be taking you him on. Fremont. Yep. Yeah. 